Last time you guys had talked to the witch, uh, she told you the secret of the lady of the Hell of Ice family. Um, you guys went on a investigation through the town, and you guys did a little bit of uh, a selling of, of the interesting pelts and furs and stuff that you guys collected while in the woods. Um, so you guys... Oh, that Fred Miller collected. Yeah. Yes. Um, you guys wake up the next day feeling fine. Um, Malachi, you are no long, no longer have exhaustion. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I was much rejoicing. Yay. So what are you guys planning on doing today? Uh, were we still trying to figure out wanted to do uh, um, you know what, what, what's the, what's the, with the lady back in town? Well, you guys are back in town. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you guys had met up with Tenali. Um, right, we're trying to gather information. Correct. Like, well, you guys had already gathered some information about a, uh, a girl that was working at one of the bookstores. Um, you and uh, Sebastian were went on a little expedition together. Right, um, and I was Squirrel. Yes, you were yes. Squirrel Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my tail's bushy. Yeah, we talked to the girl's family. They said she disappeared three years ago uh, while working in the library. So, um, I know that Eldon, you had gone and procured some holy water. Yep. How many vials did you uh, give me? Just one? I believe it's just one. Probably should have written that down. I thought I did. Apparently I didn't. So oh, that's it's weird. Stupid. Um, but no, I believe it it was just one, yeah. It was just one. So what you guys gonna do? So, well, we have the plan, right? For what we were doing today. We were gonna go, um, look into where these women might have been taken. I believe. Prior to going and dealing with uh, the lady of the manor. My only concern is that if they, if the if that part is related to uh, the lady of the manor, the uh, servants being the ones that are involved. I feel like that would uh, hinder our other plan of trying to trick her. you, know, get her to drink the holy water. We know what effects the holy water would have on her. Um, give me. Malachi, give me uh, Arcana or Nature, whichever is higher for uh, you. That's an easy choice. Sixteen. Nice. Um, from from what you know, um, for if 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 the witch is correct and that she is a vampire. You fed her holy water that um, it would be like drinking acid if a human okay. were to drink acid. It, you know, you also know that if um, if she is really just a human, she's now has her thirst quenched. <laughs> sure. So, so 
so it's been with really expensive water. Yes, pretty easy tell to see if uh, she, she's a vampire or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so we our plan is to go in to this place and say, "Hey, we found the cure for this thing. It's it's this vial of clear liquid." And de try attempt to see if we can get them to down in her, put it down her throat. And as soon as it starts burning her, what are we, they're gonna attack us? Right, because we're yeah, assuming yeah. that they're all thralls here. No, I'm just I'm going through the motions, right? We should be prepared for all, you know, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, who is administering the? They probably won't let us near her. No, yeah. If anything, we have to we'll probably have to be like, here, give her this, because they'll probably be the only ones that will either. Um, Does yeah. any one of us know the spell Prestidigitation? Oh wait, I know minor illusion. I I know Prestidigitation. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to check the. I do not. Are you gonna try to disguise the holy water? Maybe yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Uh, would, uh, Panda, so would, would yeah. either, would, would, what spell would you say would be the best to do that in your opinion, since you are the DM? I'm not telling you that. Okay. <laughs> well, from, from the spell presentation, it does say you can make a color, small marker, symbol appear on an object or a surface. So you could just do it on the glass right. of the vial. But Modern Illusion, you can actually disguise the thing as the as the thing. Yeah. Right. I know I said um, which would be also, better, but that's... It know, also says you can, for presentation, you can create a non-magical trinket or an illusory image that can fit in your hand and that lasts until the end of your next turn. But I don't think that really, you know, six seconds of having something look like something else. Right. Maybe, but... No, uh, there's no way he's going to... Be that short. They're probably gonna like inspect it if nothing else. There's no way it'll be that quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have to be concerned, right? I mean, the thought would be that there's a chance. Do they? Do we think that they know that the witch knows that she's a vampire, and that that's something she could have told us? Probably. So, just throwing this out there. Plan B. What do we do? Kill them all? Um, oh, I mean, yeah. Probably. They're, gonna, they're I mean, probably going to kill. try and kill us, so... I mean, we're, we're attempting to do this also as more of, like, proof of, hey, she's a vampire. And that's why we killed yeah. her. But if we kill everybody... Who, or if we don't have anybody there besides us, are we still vindicated? I don't. My word's probably not going to go that far, to be honest. Definitely not <laughs> mine. <laughs> um, but if there, you know, if we could maybe reach out to somebody and see if we could have them j join us, like maybe, hey, we found a. You know, we found this cure, but we needed some sort of, you know, doctor to administer it or something, or, you know, something else, and bring somebody else with us to do that, but then we're putting somebody else in harm's way. I, I mean, it's still, you're, you're suggesting, like, a more neutral party, correct? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the point is, is if all we wanted to do was kill all of them, I'm pretty confident we could just go in there and kill them all. <laughs> right? But we're also trying not to be... Uh, arrested for murdering a bunch of people, um, and in order to do that, we kind of need to prove that we. I like them being for outside a iron bars. Thank you very much. Sure. Yeah. I also so, have mage hand. If we can get in the room, I might be able to sneak it and pour it. Like off, sneak but... in and pour it in, rather than yeah. kind of say like, "Here's the answer," and do it right, right in front of them. Yeah. I see. That still, we need still need to witness to show them that holy water burns there. Well, 
keep her name cleared. I could. Hmm. This is maybe like a deceptive way to do this, but I can make myself look like someone else. So I could make us myself look like an authority of some sort and say that you guys were justified in what you did. I could, yeah, I could do that as well. Yeah. I might have a prettier way of telling other people than you. No offense. <laughs> no, it's none taken. <laughs> um, it's too bad I can't just set her on fire. Well, we, we can. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, we'd all, you know... Yeah, sure, I mean, I I think it, before we do anything, we need to, like, maybe we should send some sort of word or notification to Dolmond and let him know what's going on. Because yeah, we are acting be as, idea. as his agents. You know, oh, yeah. he at least knows that we were thinking she's a vampire. Then we have somebody else that knows what's going on besides just us. And he's a lot in a lot better of a position to, you know, deal with things. Right. So, uh, the best, how, is there, uh, Panda, is there a, uh, location in this town for which to send messages over distances? Can I look You mean like a, things? uh, post office? Or, well, or do you mean of magical means? Maybe more magical means, no. just because I'm concerned of... Topic. No magical means. All right. And then if there is... So if is there some place like a, a rookery or something like that that we could find uh, some sort of, you know, bird message service? Um... Uh, give me an investigation check. That okay. that's something that you would you'd have to go see if you can find. Yeah. Uh, give me an investigation. Nah, twenty-two. Okay, Malachi, you rolled a twenty-two to find a um bird message delivery service. <laughs> um. I'd say after about an hour of looking, you are able to find a uh, a building that uh, you can assume it is what you are looking for. Mm, it's kind of a okay. rather oddly shaped tower in, uh, near the outskirts of town. Um, All right. Take it, um, is it, who, all, who all is with me? I'll go. I'll be with you. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I mean, I, I don't see why not. I'm, I'm not really. I don't have anything else to really do. Um, Tenali okay. and the Trippets uh, are going to stay behind. Right. Um, is uh, can I see someone uh, within that seems to be, you know, running the establishment? Oh yeah, as you um, as you enter the establishment, uh, there is a uh, uh, young woman with dark curly hair um, running the store. Um, oh, uh, good morning. Uh, my name's Natalia. Uh, how may I help you? Uh, we need to send a letter. Oh, uh, okay, um, if you could just wait one moment, I am going to, uh, uh, grab you a bird. Where are you sending this letter to? Uh, this would be towards, um, oh my god, I just can <laughs> picture the name. I Those just lost friends? the name. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I kept I kept wanting to say Wild Mountain. I'm like, that's the wrong. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> wrong campaign. <laughs> um, wrong world. <laughs> to Wildercrest, specifically to uh, Lord Dolmond of Wildercrest. Oh, okay. Um, is is that going to be Express Mail or standard? 
the fastest way you can get it there is what I want. Oh, okay. Um, is this something urgent? I can, I can, uh, get you our fastest bird if, if that's what you, what you need. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Um. And, uh, how fast would you say that is? Um. Give me one sec. Let me think. Let me do some mental estimation math. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, that would probably be, uh, day, day and a half, two days, if inclement weather. Is that to get there, or... Yes, that would return? be to get there. Okay. That's the four um, days for a return, then. Okay. Hmm. Alright. How much would that be? Um... Since this is a very uh, expensive bird, that is going to be 150 gold. Well then, good God! And and <laughs> there's also a, a 50 gold deposit on 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 the bird. Um, oh, uh, of course, in case the bird dies. Yes, correct. Yep. Sure. Uh, um. Huh. <laughs> And I look to my friends, and I'm like, uh... I can how run. much do we actually care to talk to <laughs> Lord Dolman? Maybe we just send him a regular man, regular letter. No. I mean, I it's, don't it's, better to ask, it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's go. Alright. Um, can... Do you, what is your, like, average speed? Like, standard mail? Oh, it would be... And how much is that? Um... About our our typical birds would travel about the same speed as as walking, so oh four to four to five days. All right, and how much would that cost? Uh, that would be um, uh, that would be twenty five gold. Jesus, do these gold do these birds lay golden eggs or something? What's going on with these birds? Well, it takes a very long time to train these birds. Um, Maybe we should try to find a regular post office. Well, a regular post office will take um, at least a, a a week, if not two. How so about this? This is the fastest way, then. Yes, this you... is by far the fastest way. How about this? We give you fifteen gold, and we you actually smile and take it because we do not want to go dealing with any other person. We like this kind of establishment. We want to use your birds. How many people actually use your birds because they cost ridiculous amounts of money? Please let us use your birds for 15 gold. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check Oh, come on, at, let's fucking go! Please, at disadvantage. Please. Yes. Woo! Let's go. This is, this is what happens when the guy who doesn't do the talking rolls shit. Okay, here we go. Um, I talk too much when I should be. All right, here we go. Well, hey, this is your way of uh, balancing out. Yes. Four. <laughs> it honestly neither of them would have made it. Um, yeah. I I'm sorry, but we we just can't take that that kind of risk, and and a lot of people do pay these kinds of fees. Um, there's a lot so, of important. So just business. to be clear, it's twenty five for the message and another fifty for this bird's life. Yes. Well, so well, the, the the cheaper the birds, the, the cheaper birds would be cheaper, right? They're only a, a five gold. You don't you, um, you don't value their lives as much. I understand. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't. So they're, not a, they're not you, as hard you see, to train. You see, Malachi, the, the the lower end birds aren't trained as much, so that kind of explains it. Yes, th not thank as you, much sir. You money understand. In them. <laughs> All right, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Thirty gold it is. <laughs> All right, one standard fare for the uh, uh, for the letter. Um, do you have the letter? I can go send a gift to the bird and send it right away. Uh, 
uh, can you give us like five minutes? We just have to write down our thoughts. Uh, okay. Quick. And then we'll hand it off to you. Write on. And if anyone asks that we were here, we were not here. And I slide her another five gold. But we were here. Savella, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Um, she then uh, goes um, to the back. Um, while well, you guys are writing the letter. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do we want to say to Dolman? Exactly. Because obviously this is probably going to get there after we've done something problematic. <laughs> um, your um, love interest is potentially a vampire. We're going to shove some holy water down her throat and see what happens. Are we at all worried that there are any ways to intercept this letter? To be more discreet. Um, I think I think it's a matter of question. Uh, does prestidigitation? Can you alter text with prestidigitation? I would. I, don't, much, I think it would depend how much text, but or or yeah, wait, how isn't long there... too? You know what I mean? Like, um, how long does the? Uh... There's certain things that you could do with prestidigitation, like create a. Um... Mundane magic yeah, item. Illus- that's like ten minutes. The illusory right? stuff is like, is, no, it's like uh, around. I think. No, I'm spell. pretty sure it lasts a little bit longer than you that. You said for you create a non-magical trinket or an illusory image that can fit in your hand and last until the end of your next turn. Oh, then okay, that's it then. Okay, why do you think yeah. it lasts longer than that? Um, I think there is a spell like illusory script or something mm-hmm. that we yeah, could do. I don't um, like that. but. Um, I mean, not yeah. to put uh, work, things into your brain here, Yaldon, but are you able to encode certain messages with other words? I have some ways of doing that, yes. The question is, so, does the king have um, any way of decoding it? Well, I'd rather run the safer risk that he has somebody in his employ that can read it. Um, and maybe we put some sort of. I do know some obscure languages as well. Hmm. I mean, the other thought is rather than sending it to, to, to Dolman, you know, having a notable recipient that might draw some eyes if found, maybe we send it to his guard. And like address it from like some some female orc. I don't know. I have a feeling that would backfire somewhat. Some yeah. Reason. Yeah, maybe. I mean, realistically, this thing's gonna go, and we're gonna go do our thing anyway. So really, yeah. all we're saying is, hey, you might have heard that we're in jail. <laughs> we were not. We are in the right. Come save us. <laughs> right. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean that's basically... realistically what we're trying to do. So So it's our backup plan then. Yeah. This is this is like, hey, you hired us for a reason. I expect it's because you don't think we're a bunch of murderous nim you know, nincompoops that would just kill the woman that you sent us to get betrothed to. <laughs> um and maybe we can put even in there some more information about what we've learned. Like, hey, you know, we we went and visited with this witch. She told us a little bit more. Here's what she told us. We went to take care of the problem. If you are reading this letter and come immediately, right? Because either he's going to come and we're already taking care of everything and it's fine. Or he's going to come and we're in jail or about to be you know, killed, and, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Did we, yeah. we mention the holy water? I mean, yeah. I Again, I don't... I'm not really that concerned about somebody finding this, because as soon as we send it, we're probably going to go do the thing that we're sending it about. Right. Right. Because so, like, even you're saying, if, um, <clears throat> if this is going to be the standard fare, it's going to be well before they even get it anyway. 
So even yeah. if we hold off on the plan for whatever reason, it's still going to be after the fact regardless. Yeah, I mean, we're we're putting a lot of faith in this woman's uh, lackluster birds that she doesn't care about. Um, but, you know, for the most I part... I like them. Okay. Um, we, we should be able to get this letter to him, I think, without much trouble. But... Correct. The problem is not necessarily... Like, if we were to do this and send it and be like waiting to to enact the plan i would be more concerned about it being intercepted but because we're going to kind of do this as it's going anyway you know this is more of just like hey by the way we did this you know so them finding it ahead of time doesn't really right matter. we were already in the process of yeah all right so yeah i think we'll write something to the effect of kind of detailing what's happened since we arrived um, here at Miss Vale and kind of what the conversation with the witch was and our plan to, you know, destroy this monstrosity um, that's kind of pseudo ruling the town. Um, and you know, if if you if he can come or send an agent to just check that we're still, you know, free men after this, is that a, a adequate? Everybody? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm, sure. I'm alright with that. Okay. We can also uh, include we're ensure we'll ensure that she's actually a vampire before actually. Our... Well, yeah. there was one thing I thought of. I doubt it. Um, what happens if she's a good vampire? I don't know if that's even possible. And who knows, but I, from what it sounds like, it sounds like this person stole a lot years from the witch. So that doesn't scream, I'm a good person. But well, is that's it a true compulsion too. that she can't help? Who knows? Right. That's what I'm wondering. But we were specifically lied to. You know, that's the other thing. Like, we were told the witch did this for... Yeah, that's true, that's true. ...evil reasons, which is not... Potentially not the case if she is a vampire. Right. Right. Uh, so, yeah, but I, I definitely agree we should write something like, hey, we tested it first. We didn't just go and put a stake in her. Right? Yeah, like, right, right. You know, we, we were checking to make sure that, you know, the witch wasn't also lying to us. Right. Yeah. Um, and we should also put something in there about believing the link between them and the missing girls. Just in yeah. case something bad happens to us, somebody else knows what's going on. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, we'll try to write that all without <laughs> showing uh, what's her face. The... Uh, she's she's uh, not even in the in the room. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, she's fetching you guys a bird. I'm a bird. All right. Yeah. So as you guys are are finishing up writing this letter, uh, she comes back out with a crow perched on her hand. Um. Be like, uh, are you are you uh, done writing your letter? Yep, I believe so. Okay, um, you guys, yeah, you already paid her, right? Yeah, uh, we didn't uh, take it off of our amounts. I'm assuming, but <laughs> uh, no, I I didn't. I don't know what we would have. Well, it was thirty gold, so oh. there's five of us, so six gold each. Okay, all right, yeah, that's, that's fair. Thank you. If you Please hand me over the letter. We hand her the letter. All right. Uh, she uh, rolls it up and puts in a little tube uh, that is hanging from the uh, from the crow's foot, um, and then she will, in a quiet tone, uh, and well, she'll bring the um, the the crow close to her mouth, and she'll. Uh, Actually, everyone give me a 
perception hearing check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Willis. Woo! Oh my! Die. Sebastian, every time you ro roll a perception, it's like crap. Butterfly went by the window. I got distracted. And she's going. She's walking to the window. <laughs> he got, he's got um, things on his mind. It's good. You'll hear her say to the crow, uh, "Femi Armish Tenta," and she'll give the crow a little kiss on the top of the head, and it glows a little bit. And she Do just. I recognize that language. Right. No. Um, okay. And she lets the crow out the window and it flies off. Safe travels. Alright. Well, thank you for your patronage. Um, if that would be all. Uh, have a good day. You as well. Alright. Well, now what that's now? Care of. Um, I guess, care of business? I was gonna say, I was gonna, we should probably prepare to, um... We have yeah. a holy water, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, this plan is, you know... We, it's like, we just sent the letter, and it's like, oh, we don't have the holy water, well, now what? Yeah. Yeah, um, I got it yesterday. Alright, well, theoretically, if, you know, I think, number one, uh, Sebastian... As we're yeah. making our way into this uh, deceptive plot, perhaps you should be the one doing the talking <laughs> with your... Yeah. You have a way with words. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, hopefully we can try to get it so it's just us, the lady, and maybe Medicus in there. Yeah. Right? Because um, I, th not all of them came last time. So I don't know if they're all going to come this time. Although we're claiming that we're going to wake her up. So maybe they all want to be there. Yeah. Well, we can persuade them to only have Medicus there because too many people in the room could cause her to go into shock. Possible. I just, you know, I'm, again, I'm hoping that we can limit the numbers so that way. That's what I'm if, saying. Like if we tell them, hey, can you not have so many people in there? Yeah. It might it might cause her to be come distraught. Yeah. Mm. Alright, now. Who is who is administering it? Yeah, Aldon, is that you? Yeah. Okay. Who I can me and Redmilla should maybe be prepared to take down Medicus and whoever else is in there. Yes. Um yeah. and then Sebastian and Savellus maybe we should have an exit strategy that you guys can be, you know, by the door, ready to get us out of there if we need to get out of there quick. Mm -hmm. Can't do. Uh, I could, like, if there's yeah. a window in the room, maybe we can, you guys can try to get that open or something. Yeah. In a pinch, I could make two of us invisible. Okay. Um, just thinking if there's anything else we need, can think of that would be helpful in this situation. Um, so we have the holy water the, did Medicus seem to have any weapons on him when we were there last yes he had the same um, he had the same gear as everybody else um, he just wasn't wearing a helmet okay so he's armed alright Right. And he had, did he have metal armor on? Yes, they all were wearing... Uh, I can't remember... Heavy armor. Alright, I could cast Shocking Grasp on him as soon as we're ready to pop off. Because um, that would do... That would be an advantage to do that. I wonder if my, I wonder if my fire would uh, heat up their metal to a point where it would uh, be more effective. Uh, Malachi, just so you know, um, it was half plate. 
that they were wearing. Okay. Still yeah. metal armor. Yeah, yeah, still metal armor, but yeah. 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 Um, well, maybe... Ooh. Maybe that's a way for us to get out of this. Maybe we set the house on fire afterwards. I can do this. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, like, honestly, like, if, if we kill them, we're sure that they're dead. We burn the house down and we get out of there, invisible or otherwise, and, and try to make it look like the house burned down and she died inside of it. Oh, like we weren't even there. Yeah. Then we don't have to worry about the law coming in and being like, somebody murdered uh, the lady of the house. Yeah. I hope, that, that... I hope there could be an explanation for um, the possible stab wounds and whatever else that might be inflicted on them that isn't burns. Well, my hope is that the remains will be charred enough that maybe it won't matter. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. By the time they're able to get the blaze to die down and get in there and see that it was somebody stabbing somebody, we can be out of this town as well. And on our way back to Dolmond. Um, we should have What's-Her-Face get the horse and cart ready. Uh, Tenali. Tenali, right. yeah. Yes. Keep her out of the way, but get us ready to get out of here as soon as possible. Um, and we should make sure, you know, if we have anything in the inn, I don't know if we do, but we should get that out of there as well. I don't believe I do, but yes. I have some stuff in the cart, but not in the inn. Okay. Gotcha. So plan A, we go in, we feed, force feed her the, this uh, holy water, Whoa. take down whoever's in the room, then set a fire to the house, get out of there via you know, possibly I can disguise myself as one of the halflings. Somebody else could disguise themselves or something like that. And you know, yeah, I yes, I can. You know. I'm able to disguise myself as well. Okay, I can turn the other. I can turn um, Savellus and Radmilla invisible. Yeah. Well, can you can you turn yourself to something else? I, yeah, I can. Ch I can change my appearance. Okay. I mean. So I yeah, we're just, good there. I could just make myself an animal if need be, but I mean, we'll yeah, do this probably. Um, but then we can get out of there, uh, make our way to the cart, wherever that's going to be set up to ready to go, and we bail. Preferably uh, closest to the uh, entrance of town, or in our case, the exit of town. Sure. All right. I like this plan. Let's go burn this vampire down. Burn the vampire. Burn, baby, burn, Vampire Inferno. <laughs> All right. I like that song. Uh, so you guys are going to the house? Yep. 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 You going to the front door again, I take it? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Right. right after telling Tenali to prep the get ready, it's ready to go. Okay. Yep. Did we, just to, for our own knowledge, did we see windows in that room? In her room when we were there last? I believe there were, but the curtains were drawn. Okay, just trying yeah, to get yeah. a mental layout of the room before we get in there. Okay. Yeah. See if there's a possible exit plan before we even enter the yeah. building. Okay. All right. Um, you guys get up to um, the door. I take it you knock. Yep. Yes. Um,. This time, a two different, uh, uh, two different, uh, halflings greet you, um, one will be, well, uh, actually, I'll just reveal this, um, I'm gonna reveal, uh, uh, hello! You guys back with the cure for our lady? Yes, we have, uh, would you be able to fetch Medicus for us? We have, uh, much to discuss about what needs to happen now. Oh, okay, yep, we can, uh, 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 blurred, uh, can, can you, uh, I'll, I'll stick with these guys for, for right now. Um. And the other one will be like, uh, uh, 
okay, I'll go get Medicus. And and he'll uh he'll go off and uh a little bit later uh Medicus will show up. He'll be like Oh, um did not expect you guys to be back so soon. Um You found the witch, I take it? Yeah, we had a very successful journey. We uh, we believe we found the way to cure um, the lady of the house. So, um, oh, very good, very one, good. One, the one caveat is that we believe that it might be a little overwhelming at first. So, um, if you would allow us to go up and perform this ritual, we really think it would be better if um, we were the only ones in the room with you, obviously, um, just to you know keep it from being too overwhelming. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Actually, give it to me. A, uh, that works. Um. Nice. Could, uh, could I perhaps bring one other knight with me? Uh, just, just to be on the safe side? Oh, yeah, I, I, I suppose I, that would be alright. Yeah, I don't see why not, right? Yeah. That's very good, okay. Yes, let's, uh, yes, let, we can go up see, uh, the lady now. Um, follow me. Um. Let me just reveal everything that is on your way. Which guard did he bring with him? Uh, he just, they're, uh, uh, as you guys are walking in the room, you see um, one of the guards that was with you last time, Grumli, uh, Grumiln. Um, he kind of like, uh, kind of like, you know, is, is not too happy to see you guys, but at the same time, you know, he's, he sees that you guys are with, with Medicus, so he's not like... I'll kind of give him a clap on the shoulder and I'll be like... Put, turn that smile upside down, my good man, or that frown upside down. Let's uh, let's get happy. Your lady's coming back today. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, grumpy puss. <laughs> um, Today's as, a good day, friend. Are we able to, as we're kind of going into the room, close the door behind us? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, you're you're able to do that. Wait, okay. are there, is there is there a window in here? Oh yeah, there's a window above her bed. Okay, so and she's the in only... the bed, obviously. And that's the only one. Yeah, that's the only window. And we're uh, still on the. You guys went up a floor. On? One floor. Yeah. Floor. Which one is Medicus? Uh, the one over by the bed. The one by the door is. Um, All right, I'll post up me. right next to him. Okay. Uh. What are you guys doing? Oh, right. Uh, actually, Medicus will be like, "Well, uh, are you going to? What's this? Uh, I'd like to see this this cure." So, from my bag, I will procure the. I'll procure the vial of blood. Okay. And I say, this is the blood of the witch. Oh, very, very good, very, very good. Get. But, but, there is an incantation that I learned from sourcing through her books and research and stuff that okay. should reverse it. So I have to be the one to do this. Um, persuasion at advantage. Oh no. Oh, oh no. On, oh. oh god, okay. Hmm. I see. Well, could you teach me this incantation? I, I would much prefer to do it myself. Um are you I'll kinda, arcanely I'll kinda, like, I'll kinda open my eyes wide at Sebastian. <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, I will say, well, it's really, it's very important that we do it, and, um, 
it's very important that we do it so that it doesn't get done incorrectly. It could harm her. Then I'll I'll cast suggest because mm. he did such a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, uh, right Sebastian, away. give me a persuasion. Got advantage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Actually, no, just give it to okay. me flat. Okay. Be like, fine. I understand. Um, as he's kind of, uh, give me, uh, everyone give me a perception. Malachi, give it to me at advantage. All right. Butterfly <laughs> again. I am rolling gas today. Um, everyone that rolled over a 15, um, you notice that he's kind of starting to go for his, um, his, er, yeah, he's just, like, kind of inconspicuously putting his hand ready to draw his weapon in case something goes south. I'll kind of, as I'm, like, standing next to him, I'll be like, don't worry, buddy, and I'll put my arm around him like my hand like over on his other shoulder and just be like uh Yelda knows what he's doing it's it'll be fine don't worry about it and I'll just kind of leave my hand there okay <laughs> um uh, okay uh Mr. Eldon please proceed and make sure you move yourself next to the bed yep as I'm moving around, I'm going to pull out the vial of holy water and palm it. Okay, so give me a sleight of hand. Perfect. All right. You going for it? <laughs> yep, I'm going for it. I'm going to... Can't, uh, uh, chant. Wait, bef before, before he does that, can I kind of, like, look in Red Miller's direction, kind of, like, eyeball the grumpy halfling and kind of be, like, try to get them to go over there? <laughs> I don't know how I would do that. I would just, like, try to, like, open my eyes wide and look at them, I guess. See if they can infer that. I mean, if you'll allow me to infer that... Uh, give me an insight. Yeah, you can infer that. I don't know why, but, uh, take a step close. <laughs> Alright, um... Are you going for it, Eldon? Give me one sec. I need to bring in one thing up first at, before I do it. Oh, yeah, this is really far up in this conversation. Oh, oh there it is. All right, Eldon, you uh, you doing this? Yes. I shall, I I shall take the vial in my hand and say, Barshis Karna. <laughs> and okay. I, and I will pour. I will uncap the in my hands. I will uncap the holy water. Um, and make it look like that one. Like hold that in my hand so that it looks like that. That that's the blood vial. Mm -hmm. And I will pour it down her throat. Okay. Everyone give me a con save. What? As what? you hear this ungodly screech come from Lady Chanel uh... Lady Shania Hellevice. Uh oh. Here we go. You said con save, right? Yep. Oh, oh that's, no. That's, sorry, that's not the save. Well, I, I failed it. I know that. It you guys need to beat a 17. 
Oh, what? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and take... Eh, it's not that bad. Uh, if you made it, uh, take half. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, that was okay. so bad. So that's what, three? It's three, right? All three. right. And then... And did then... It look like any, did it look like any of the... Either of the halflings took that? No. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Um, but now, everybody, roll for initiative. Yes. Woo! Uh, Woo! Let me get the initiative tracker up first before you guys do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! And then also, let me uh, get... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Wow, okay. Oh, no! This is how this is happening. Oh no! We're so far. We need them all to roll ones, Panda. All of them can only roll ones. <laughs> oh no. Uh, token layer. Um. Well, this could have gone better. Oh, I mean, nuts. Well, she's on twelve. Okay. 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 Come on. Oh, one. And one. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Descending. All right. Savellus. You're oh, up. Uh, God damn it, of course I'm first. Um, I, wanna, I just want to look at something. Um... Uh, Oh god. Jesus, music is actually like, uh, make, making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and you wrote the music! <laughs> uh, I uh, guess I'll just. Oh, uh, before we start, uh, Eldon, give me a D4. What? Oh no. I have bad feeling I know what that is. Oh. Oh, you did roll. Okay. Yeah. Three. One, two, three. Okay. Um Alright, now you can go, Savellus. Alright, um where wait, which square would she technically be on? Like because she's just kind of in the middle of the grid there. I mean, I think it doesn't it, it, matter. It, it kind of does because I'm kind of I think I'm gonna try and do like a range attack. You, you're fine. You're you, you you you're far enough away that you wouldn't. Right, prone still. All right. All right. Well, she is prone. All right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh. Shit. Do you not have any range uh melee? Is that? melee I do. Spells? I do. For save spells. Because that wouldn't matter. Oh, um... You're the biggest one you got! Well, what I could do... Fireball. <laughs> Fireball in the middle of the room. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could... Uh, actually, I can't even... Funny enough, I don't know that. <laughs> I, 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 the, the irony is not lost on me, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I guess what I'll do then is I will um, actually move closer and cast Flame Blade and try to melee attack. All right, you are at advantage. Oh, at advantage. Yep. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, hold on. I didn't. I didn't do it at advantage. So. Is that, would that hit or? Um, a 17 would hit normally, yes, but, I mean, right. you can always try and get that crit. Alright. Alright. Alright, either way, that's Night Fire. Um, okay. And just remember, um, I don't know if you remember, but I actually do have the Fire and Death Feet, so if there's any resistances, that's ignored. Very good. Oh, wait. I think one of these is a 1. So it can actually, also, that would actually count as a 2, so actually... Okay. Yep. So 
Anything else, Sebastian? <laughs> Just, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Sebastian's next. Actually, I think it already did. I think it already took it into effect. Because it's saying it rolled a 1, 2, and 5. Yeah. Which would have been 8. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. So it already right. it already took into account. Yeah, because if you if you look at the die roll, it says 1d6. Yeah, you're right. Two. Oops. Okay. You're right. So it, is, it is 9. Yeah, okay, that's it for me then, because that was my action and then free action, so. Excuse me. Alright, Sebi. So this might be dumb, because there's a vampire in the room, but I think I'm going to attack this guy so he doesn't turn tail and run. So I'm going to Hexblade Curse him as a bonus action. Okay. Gives me a plus uh, three. Um, okay. Plus three to attack. So then I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at him. Okay. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. He's gonna be real grumpy after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> and then another one. That'll wow. hit. Jesus, dude. <laughs> wow. We're really prepared. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did that go, did that not go through? Uh, give it a second. It might be lagging behind. Yeah, it will do that sometimes. There we go. What? <laughs> that was as much as the crit on one hit! Okay. With a 10 on the damage. Okay, um. I think that's all I have. Okay. Is that is that adding in your your uh, bonus to damage there? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the plus four. Gotcha. So Wait, no, the plus four oh. is no. It's actually it's not then. Plus oh. four is my agonizing blast. Right. Yeah. So it's uh, how much? It's his charisma said? modifier again. Yes, yeah, so it's plus three. Wait. It says plus three. My charisma modifier is four. That's weird. So it should be another a minus four on both those hits, correct? Right. Okay. Mm. Mm. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's what I got. Holy smokes. Okay. The Um Uh Yep. Medicus, he is going to attack you, Malachi. Sure. Uh, he can try. I'm just kidding. Um, um, God, why does he have so much shit to do that he can do? Okay, anyway, uh, he's going to whack you with his light pick. 16. 16 misses. All right. Uh, he will attack again. 18. Uh, I'm going to cast shield, so no. Okay. Um, Red Milla. Uh, Grum Grumon is going to attack you with his light pick. Does a 15 hit? Uh, it's a miss. All right. His second attack. 13, I take it, also misses. All right. Oh, she's next. So let me do this real quick. Um. Oh boy. Uh, Eldon. Mm hmm. Do, 
do, do. Give me a DC oh. 17 wisdom save. <laughs> oh no. Fox can't escape the charmed effects. <laughs> Not even in this campaign. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like she's actually mind controlling you, right? It's it's just you're friendly to her now. That's all. And she is going to uh Actually, she's just going to sit up in bed. Um, and that will be... Actually, does she have any bonus actions? Um, no, that's an action. Uh, I know all that stuff's... Actions. Okay, um... Redmilla, your turn! Uh, Alright, so... I'm uh, gonna move here and swing. Go for it. That will miss. That will hit. Alright, great bludgeoning. Uh, also, uh, since it's got the crusher feet, I'm gonna. Moving back five. Five feet, Ooh. moving back? Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to step in front of the door. Okay. And then, then bonus action, martial arts. Alright. That misses. Damn, alright. Oh, that's it. Eldon, you are charmed. To her. You do. Means I can't attack her. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. But does that mean I can't that I can't attack her companions? You can you can attack her companion. Okay. Cause it only says that it trust she is a trusted friend. Gotcha. Well, it would be my full round to take out my whip and my shield, correct? Correct. correct. That'd be everything? Yep. It's a bonus action, right? Uh, well, your shield is an action. Yep. And then, actually, no, you would have a bonus action left. Because drawing your whip would be... Because you didn't have anything out. Right. So yeah, it would just be... Um, yeah, so you have a bonus action left. Shield of Faith, then. Okay. And that is my turn. Alright. Malachi! Yeah. Alright. Uh, first things first. I am going to attempt to cast Shocking Grasp on Medicus. Which I believe is at advantage, because he's wearing metal armor. Yes. Uh, come on. Eh, 18? No. Damn. Oh. Oh, that's upsetting. That's um, a high AC. Yeah, alright. Then we're gonna do this. Bonus action. Or actually, sorry. Move action. Just draw the sword. Okay. And, and uh, axe and search. Okay. And I'm going to take two swipes at him with it. Go for it. Uh, first attack. Oh, come on, man. Oh. <laughs> All right. And last attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I swear, <laughs> Roll20 hates us. It's it always like this. It doesn't hate Sebastian. 
It hates no, me when I'm does. trying to perceive things. I think it just hates Malachi. <laughs> yeah. Now well, I, I don't still... know. I haven't been rolling stuff today either. I still have my bonus action. Technically, yes. Yeah. Um. I think. I think I'm good for right now, actually. Okay. Thank you. Savellus. Well, I, I still have the flame blade, and I'm already in melee distance. So, um, and she, you said she sat up, right? Yeah, but that's still, for all intents and purposes, prone. Okay, then I will uh, attempt to flame blade it again. Go it's for weird it. because, like, it's, it's still like D D Beyond still like treats it as me casting the spell. Mm, it's weird. weird, but. Yeah, like, I still have it for, for 10 minutes. Oh, actually, no, wait, yeah, yeah. I still have 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, god damn it. was it. at advantage. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That hits. Um, hey. uh, there is a one in there, so. It, it's already, it already takes it's care already. of it. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. All right. Sebastian? All right, I'm gonna move up here, and I will stab the vampire. Okay. Oh, I said vanish. Yes, I vanish. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> uh, nope, those don't hit. All right. Uh. I think that's all you can do. Okay. Yeah, that's all I said. Um their turns. Um for his first action or part for his first attack. Medicus is going to try and uh, shove Malachi backward, or shove you prone. Okay. So, I believe that what is opposing opposing strength checks. Athletics checks, possibly. Uh, or is it just strength? Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Athletic yes. Give or me. Acrobatics. And you can contest it with acrobatics, if or athletics, <laughs> depending on which is higher. Yeah, th yes. I'm gonna do athletics. Go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> uh, he just kind of like pushes at me, and I just stand there. And I'm like, come on. And then he's gonna just <laughs> his second attack. He's gonna swing at you. It's kind of funny too, because it's a halfling trying to push over you. <laughs> he's trying to sweep out your legs. Uh, uh, I take a twenty-three a, hits. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Uh, Hold on. Six. Are you? Are you? Take, are, do you have a reaction for that? Not that's gonna make the difference. Okay. Silvery barbs. Rolled again. Gotta take the lowest. Yeah. So you're inflicting disadvantage on him, essentially? Mm-hmm. 19? Yeah. Uh, I will then cast my reaction to cast another shield. Okay. And then, nice. No. All right, and that gives advantage to the next person, and I'll give it to Malachi. Okay. Someone. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. uh Grimmel is going to attack Red Miller. Twice. Eleven. Probably not. And nine. I take it neither of those hit. Fred Miller, you're muted. Bro? Uh, sorry. Um, what, 19? Uh, no, uh, the 11 that... and the 9. The 11 and the 9. Uh, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, yeah. Uh, lady. Uh, and, uh, Malachi, that's for your next attack. Okay. The lady Shanae is going to. Turn to 
Eldon and be like, Come here, dear. Um. Uh, what? <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Well, let's just... Are you... Mm hmm. If she bites... Well, yeah, she's yeah. going in for the bite, but my question is, would would uh, Eldon just yes. let her? But I, I... So, yes, she won't be able to bite me, but that does allow me a second... Yes, right. Yes. Okay, yeah, so she's gonna bite you. Well... No, oh, that would have hit anyway. Um, yeah, but I think there's like a specific <laughs> thing that if it's like a willing creature or something. Yeah, because it would be willing. She or does charm. extra stuff or something, maybe. Uh, um, the, the charm makes him willing. So. Yeah. The targets his point maximus. Oh, shit. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, okay! That's not good. Oh, so the tar you can only bite someone if it's a willing creature or somebody that you've grappled. That's the yes. what the willing stuff yeah. is. It? Okay. Yes, and since he's willing, yeah, she gets the munch. Uh, I think you make the save, the resave now, I believe. Yeah, but hold on. How much of that is the actual max drain? The seven. So you take fourteen. Yeah, you take fourteen points of damage, but only your max is reduced by seven. Okay. Yes, that that would be true. Oh. Uh, oh, that's not the right one. Okay. <laughs> this is really bad, guys. <laughs> Give me your resave. Don't forget to resave. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, that attitude. Oh, oh man. Oh. I should have saved the uh, silvery barbs advantage for my next save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realize wanna. I could do that. Uh, okay. Um, Redmilla. Uh, Redmilla, give me a perception check before you start. This is just free perception check. Okay, cool. Um, you would hear uh, more knights coming. Yeah, I thought so, not as much. Um, <clears throat> this is going exactly yeah. how I wanted it to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I wanted it to go. All according to Keikaku. Uh, gonna swing twice. Ooh, nope, and that should do. That'll do. Uh, nine bludgeoning. Uh, False. then I am going hey. to. Oh, nice. Nope. I'm going to. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna bonus action patient defense. Cool. So, taking the damage. Alrighty. Um, yeah, that's it. Eldon. Well, you said I'm the other guys in the room aren't deadly or not friendly to me, right? Right. Well, guess what? He's within whipping <laughs> range. <laughs> Gonna boom and whip. <laughs> boom and are you, whip. Are you the one that gets the advantage then? No, you get the advantage. Okay, you so to... you're targeting. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. But. Huh? Uh. Uh. A negative Ghost Rider. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it for me, fam. Okay. Um. Uh, wait. You know, I'm going to dis I'm going to uh, bonus action disengage and five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. As you move away, you hear say, Come back, dear. 
kind of won't hurt you much. You just bit me though. <laughs> uh, Malachi. All right, I'm gonna take two swipes at uh, Medicus. Go for it with the long sword. First, First one's one. at advantage. Yeah, yeah buddy. buddy. Good lord, hit something. Ugh. Mm-mm. Oh, man. God damn it. That was another natural one on that seven, by the way. All right. Um, last second attack. This one's normal. God. God. Come on. <laughs> Dude, what the hell is going on? Um, all right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think through my thoughts here for a second. Um, uh, yeah. I'm going to attempt to move to here, if you'll allow it. Yep. You're good. And then I I will bonus action uh, uh, second wind myself. Okay. Uh, I can find the thing here. All right, so I'm at I'm back up to full. Okay, awesome. Then I don't have to worry about stuff. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. that's my turn. Okay. Savellus. Um, flame blade, I guess. <laughs> Realistically, what big ass spells you got? Come on, man. Oh, I mean. Probably what I have, like I don't know if they would be good to use right now. <clears throat> yes, whapper. You're like not gonna miss because you have advantage on all your strikes. <sighs> I just um... besides. I might need to. I might need to save one of my spell slots in case something happens to me. That's anyway. So I might as well just not use spells and use what I already have. Oops. And you know. I forgot that she had that. That's not a good thing to hear. Uh, well, I'm gonna whatever flame blade in her direction. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh no! Oh my <laughs> god! What is happening? Nine. <laughs> that that misses. That misses, Chief. Uh. Um. Uh, at the end of the well, actually, are you, are you doing anything uh, else? I'm done. I'm no. I'm done. All right. At the end of the turn, I'm gonna do something that I forgot to do. Uh, Savellus. Oh God. Oh wait. Well, never I'm mind. Sure. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh huh. I don't think she can make that attack. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Never mind. Uh oh, she can't. I guess she can. Um. Is that a? Okay, that is eight to hit. So, uh, Savellus, uh, actually, that's at disadvantage. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow your roll there. Yes, sir. yes, I know. <laughs> uh, when a creature within five feet of you casts a spell, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Give me a moment. Dear God, please hit. For the love it's at of advantage God. too. Don't forget, because she's sitting in her bed. Oh yes. <laughs> really like that bed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? We need to like reset F. we need to like reset the server or something. <laughs> what the shit? That misses. Um uh, uh, What is this god. wait weighted code? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Wasn't me. Uh Savelle's uh take nine cold. Oh. 
Wunderbar. Today. Could be worse, I guess. Um. So that was the end of Sebastian or er, Savellus's turn. Sebastian's turn. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stab her again. I'm gonna try to. Uh, okay. That hits. Nice. All right. Just gotta envision like what this fight looks like, right? Like she's just yeah. sitting in her bed, and we're all missing her. Like yeah. You just gotta be like rolling back and forth. <laughs> um, real quick, doesn't something happen when the target of your hexblade curse dies? Yeah, I got. I did that. I got um, okay. health back. Okay. I think I got nine health back, but I had to risk down three. So. All right. Just making sure. Yeah. All right. Um. Bonus action. Yep. Yeah, bonus action. Uh, I don't think I have anything. Okay. Um, real quick, you guys were asking about the curtains earlier. Yes. No one did anything with those, right? Not yet. Okay. Nope. Somebody hiding behind the curtains. <laughs> um, oh. where is the curtain, by the way? By right behind her bed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Medicus is going to swing swing at, um, Sebastian. Oh, oh, God. oh! You God. got hella fucking lucky. The eleven you points. Don't... Yeah. You don't have another one of those silvery barbs, do you, uh, Fox? I do, but it's my last spell. Okay. Second attack uh, on. Second attack. Okay. Okay, it's okay. 19 hits, so 6. Yep. Oh boy. I will cast uh, um, Hellish Rebuke. Alright. Uh, what save is that again? Oh, it's a dex save. Oh, that's not bad damage, though. <laughs> Alright. Um, then he's gonna come up and open the door. Right. Housekeeping! Yes. Which way does the door open? Outward. Okay. Um, but that's action to do that. Um, at part of his move, he's gonna pull out his pick. Um, this guy is going to come up behind him and draw a bow, a short bow, and fire at uh, Red Milla. At disadvantage. No. Yeah, because Red Milla took the dodge. Oh, that's right. You're right. Seven does not hit. <laughs> um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, twenty-five. Um, he is also going to draw a bow and fire with that at Red Milla. 11 does not hit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, and he's just gonna draw his pick and chill there. Um, 15, 15, 20, 20, 20. Alright, actually he's... Oops! Uh, you've stretched the board now. <laughs> you saw that shit. Yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, uh, her turn! Um... Is there... Oh, okay, cool. Um... Red Milla!
give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait a second. Has she... Who cast Oh, she a... just cast a spell. But yeah, you already used your reaction. That's her legendary action. That's right. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm just trying to remember orders. Okay. Yes. Fine. That does uh, not make Barely. It. Ma- barely missed. Oh, that's not uh, good. Wow. Where's the... I don't see the DC on there. Um, Probably 17, like her. Yeah, 5, so 8. Um, 8 plus Probably. 8 is 16. So no, uh, you make it. Oh. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's her spell different. DC is different from her charm DC. Mm. Because the charm's a vampire skill, I'm not a spellcasting one. Right, so, yeah. yeah, so you actually make the save. Oh. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Red Milla, you're up! <laughs> um, Eat face! Yeah, I'm just gonna start swinging. Kinda hoping the other people can deal with the vampire. <laughs> oh, right. I totally forgot about that. We're trying! <laughs> We're just stabbing the mattress. Nope. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there That'll you. hit. Uh, ten bludgeoning damage. Nice. And although it wouldn't do anything, I'm gonna just push it back five feet. Um, okay. Would no, it no. Want to collide? Push him back into the archer, I don't know. Uh, uh, does he get a save on then, that? No. Okay. Um, then I will say that... Uh, nope, he's good. Um, what do you call it? Uh, key patient defense again. Cool. Okay. Ail done. I need this. Woot. That's my action. I healed myself. That's fair. Okay, bonus action? Or... I might not have anything left for bonus action to be completely honest with you. Yeah, I think you're... Uh, Yeah. I'm just gonna chill right there. Alright. Malachi! Yeah, question for you. Answer me. Uh, the, moving the curtain to the side, that would be considered a... a action. Interact with object, yes. correct? Yes. And that's an action. Okay. Yes. Um, then I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, <laughs> well, give me a second. I am going to take a swipe at her. Okay. Uh, I'm at advantage. Yes. One, two, three. That'll hit. Freaking finally. All right. Yay! Seven points of damage. Okay. Second attack. I'm going to take a swipe at the curtain. Oh. Okay. Oh. And try to like cut it open. Yeah. Roll to hit. This is not an advantage. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Come Excellent. on. Alright, that, 19. That'll do. Do your right. damage. I mean, you don't even have to. So, yes. Do it anyway. Um, as the sunlight bursts in, she's like... <laughs> right? Yes. Um, I'll say, what, not a morning person? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one-liners. <laughs> it's a good thing you did that now. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, um, is that your turn? Yeah, I don't think I have a bonus action I can do, so I think I'm done. All right. Excuse me. Uh, on your turn, um, she is going to stand up on the bed. Okay. 
Um, like, why am I still lying down? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Savellus. Yes. Um. Uh. Uh. Fifth first, same as the first. I don't know what term we're on. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be regular now. Regular, yeah, I know. It's all good. That what? hits. No. Oh, did it not? Holy Wait. crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? That's one off of Max. Nice. Holy yeah. smokes. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally hit the back button on my mouse. The, I the, mean, moment, you, the moment you realize Savellus has been rolling dog crap on his I was, yeah. The time. <laughs> yeah, even with my freaking fire add up, it's just like, okay. But yeah. Noise. Um Slasher at the shit. Uh, that your turn? Um yeah. Yeah. Um she is going to Um See why can't she why isn't Um She allowed to use her unarmed attack. Um our unarmed strike as it as a legendary action. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, screw it. At disadvantage, she's going to try and uh, Ray of Frost you. Reaction! Yeah. Re reaction. So, well, give me your reaction. Uh, that hits. Thank God. Four points of damage. That was yeah, well. Got right. something. Uh, something better than Frost. Yeah. <laughs> Ten cold damage. Ooh, chilly. Murder. Ow, either way. I was assuming that was at me, but yeah. Yes, it was at you. Alright, alright. Um... I mean, yeah, that's it. After that. Okay. Sebastian. Alright. I'm gonna try to stab her again. Right. That will nice. hit. Eh. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I have. I have. Medicus is going to um, move over here. I think of opportunity. Wait, I can't. I'm nope. Never, actually, never mind. You're good. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to swing at Savellus twice. Oh man. Um. Yeah, that'll hit. Second attack. Sixteen. That will also hit. Okay. Ow! I'm really hurting, actually. Okay. Squishy boy. Um, I'm just gonna move this guy first. He is going to walk on the wall. Five, ten. What? Oh yeah. God damn it. So he's on the wall, above, uh, above the one in the back with, um. Uh, let me reveal that for you guys. I have him outside, but he's 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 on the wall behind, above him. Um. So that's going to be one, two, three. So six arrows at um, Red Milla, all at disadvantage. Oh boy. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. Red Milla's gonna turn into a pink cushion. Uh, first one, first shot. Uh, seven, nope, second, thirteen. Oh, sorry. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, the one but above him, I guess. Nope. 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 And then the last one shooting arrows, sixteen. Nope. Okay. Uh, then the one in front is going to swing at you with a pick. Twice. 
Nope. Uh, no. And the last one can't really reach you. Uh, that was the, the neck. You said twice. Yeah. Oh yeah, those were all just disadvantage. Yeah. That six back. still doesn't hit. Okay. Um, tank over here. Check how many times you shot the bow. I think you might be missing one. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. Like they're gonna hit anyway. <laughs> um. Her turn. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Centered in the room! Fireball. 